Hello YouTube, welcome back uh, to part three of unboxing number 18. Uh, my, last, my last video went a little long, so unfortunately I'm having to try to put together uh, put together two videos uh, with my video editing thing and it's taking a very long time. However, I'm not planning on, I'm potentially going to post this one before that one is ready to go, assuming it ever gets ready to go. Um, but if you do see this one first instead of part two first, that's why. Anyway, so, uh, so for part three, um, these are going to be the 400 scale models I got from NG Models. Um, and uh, as a reminder, I called out Gemini Jets on my on part two for uh, the Delta A3-3900 had the starboard side um, wing was it was almost like whoever put it together forgot to put um, glue in it. So it was it was kind of tight in there, but uh, it it wiggled out and it didn't look like there was any glue in there. So I don't know what's going on there, but I glued that back together uh, and it looks good. But uh, from NG of the three that I got, uh, uh, the largest plane. I'll, I'll let you know which one it is. That one. Uh, has a loose wing. I'm, it's even tighter than the uh, than the one that I called out on Gemini Jet. So I'm not sure if I'm going to try to pull it out uh, and and glue it back in. But it has a loose wing on the port side of the aircraft. And then a second one. Um, I'm not absolutely sure at least one wing is loose if not both wings but again they're in they're in there pretty tight so i'm probably not going to intentionally pull them out to get them glued but ng you are only one for three on quality control in the set that i'm about to present so Shame on you. Anyway, so I will go into that more when I get to it. But anyway, so we're going to get started. So this one doesn't hopefully go too long. So my first one I'm going to do is this Starlux A350-900. Uh, it um, commemorates the first flight from Taipei to Los Angeles on... April 26th, it even says it on the box, so that's pretty cool. Um, so as you can see, pretty pretty nifty uh, box art there. Uh, the item number, hopefully you can see that, item number here is 39025. So if you want to see that. All right. So let's bring this in. Do, 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 do. And there it is. All right. Uh, I guess I'll do it. I'll put it side diagonal here. All right. So uh, this is the plane where the port side wing is loose, and I probably could pull it out. Um, but it felt like it was pretty tight. Uh, it was more tight than the uh, Gemini Jets uh, A330-900. Uh, now that one didn't just fall out. I did have to pull it out a little bit, but um, it was pretty easy to get out where this one was not. And, and I pulled on it pretty hard, but uh, it is definitely loose, so uh, but I'm not going to force it. All right, so with all that said, let's get to our 
first of all get to our 360 all right do, 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 do. I'll provide my own uh, in video music how about that do 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 Sorry, this, this model is probably going straight back into the box, so it's kind of sagging in the middle where the, the most of the weight of the model is on the box. So sorry if that kind of distorts uh, looking at this 360, but that's why it's kind of shrunken down. I don't have the, like the support box inside because I'm going to put this one away. I'm going to put it away because uh, I haven't completely decided what all I want to put in my display case that I still have some room with. Um, there are things that are already uh, committed to going in there. Um, and one-offs like this um, is currently not uh, one of those that... Is prioritized to get into the display case so I'm just uh, showing this on my channel and then probably going to put it away until um, until a later date or until I put it in a airport or review uh, review or whatever anyway all right so there is the 360 on our Starlux a350 Let's get in a little closer now. All right. So interestingly enough, uh, this airplane has the, if you can't already see what I'm about to get at here, uh, it already has the registration number here but it also has a registration number in the back which you'll see um, uh, near the the L4 door and so a few things here uh, so this is Starlux Airlines uh, the registration is Bravo-58503 uh, if I remember correctly, I'm showing that they have three of these in their fleet right now. This particular one was delivered to them uh, in March of this year, 2023. So it's about uh, half a year old. Uh, it is powered by two Rolls-Royce Trent 1700 engines and obviously is currently active. Uh, and the seating arrangement uh, inside is they have four first class so I it, it's completely lie flat and I it might even be a suites uh, I couldn't tell and I it didn't it didn't give me I mean, I didn't look at it really really carefully I, I think they're suites and there's only four of them and then we move back from there, we have 26 um, business class. Uh, you can, again, you can think of business class as uh, domestic US first class. Then there's 36, um, I don't remember what they called it, but their premium coach so they have 36 premium coach and from looking at the seating chart um, the seats could potentially be a little bit wider 
not only does it have more leg room, but it could be a little bit wider than the uh, 240 coach class seats that are behind it. So uh, that's kind of how they have their plane configured. So as you can see, uh, we've got cockpit windows here, L1 door with the, uh, again, with the registration next to the L1 door. Have our nice gold stripe, wavy stripe that makes it way down the fuselage along with uh, the blue underbelly, which also kind of swoops up and down a little bit. We have Starlux in the billboard titles here. And there's our Rolls-Royce Trent 1700 engine on the port side. Some main gear down here. L3 door. L4 door and on the other side of the winglet there uh, we have uh, uh, Airbus A350-900 and the uh, now, I can just do like that. There you go. So now you can see what that says. And then uh, those lines swoop up a little bit onto the tail and onto the uh, APU. Back there is where the blue ends up. And you see their little logo there on the tail. It's a super duper. All right, we will move on to the next airplane. My next airplane is gonna be this one. Boom. Lockheed L-1011-500 in uh, the Pan Am Globe livery. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when this livery was introduced, but it was highly used in the 70s and I I think it was introduced late 60s but I'm not absolutely positive and as you can see uh, this one name is the Clipper Northern Eagle and there's the Pan Am uh, the night uh, box artwork there and this item number right here is 35020 all right Let's bring this one in for its 360. And this one, this, let's see. sorry about that. Uh, this model is the one where all the control surfaces and everything is. Uh, well in place so this is the one for three ng gets on quality control unless i find something while i'm doing this video a good view of our uh, three power plants there which are rolls royce rb 211s And of course, uh, Delta Airlines uh, ended up getting this plus several of Pan Am's other uh, L-1011-500s uh, in the part of Pan Am that Delta bought.
Alright, so there you have our 360. Now we'll zoom in a little closer here. I think you can see uh, the Clipper Northern Eagle uh, there. Uh, let's see, Pan Am, this is a uh, ship number November 507 Papa Alpha. It was delivered in June of 1980. Uh, it, was, it was configured with 36 international first class, uh, 32 business class, and 140 coach seats. Uh, and it made it to the ripe old age of 32.6 years before it got broken up at Victorville. And we already mentioned the power plants of the RB211 engines. So we'll take a good look at this. Got our very nicely shaped L1011 nose there. Our L1 door here. Um, now I think on the 500 they do use this. They did use this door to board, um, but I think on some of the other 1011s, this door may have the the, um, the L2 door may have been used. It may have been used anyway. I, I just can't. I do not remember. A lot of times with the international ones and Delta use these. Uh, mostly international. Um, most of the time, a lot of times with international, they have everybody board in this door, so some people can go forward, and some people can go towards the back. Um, so I don't quite remember. This is awfully close to the engine for the passenger bridge to get up to, but um, that's why I said I think they just use this door. Anyway, so you got our old Pan Am uh, titles up there. L2 door. Our port side uh, RB211 engine. Our main gear down there. Just following the blue uh, cheat line stripe. Uh, we got our registration L3 door and then we got our number two engine there in the back and there's the pan the famous Pan Am globe uh, in the really large uh, US flag there on top and of course on the other side it's just uh, the only thing different is you got your cargo doors. All right, so moving on. So so this low tech video doesn't go too long. We finally have our Spirit Airbus A321 Neo. Uh, and it's in what we're calling the spirit.com livery. Uh, so what has happened is they've gotten rid of home of the bear fair, uh, and the, uh, titles don't have the, I don't even know what to call it, but they have those little, uh, I just keep calling them strikes, but I don't know what they were actually. Um, but that that is no longer showing on the titles either on the tail or here and again they got rid of the bear fare uh, this item number is 13099er so as you can see the uh, box art there all right Let's bring this one in. All right, so this one, uh, so frustrating. So this one is yet another A321 specifically, 
that had loose uh, something loose on it and these both of the wings are loose uh, I, I just I don't understand and it still seems to it keeps happening a lot with this particular model uh, well this particular model type not not spirit model or anything like that but anytime they put out a an a321 neo or otherwise there always seems to be a problem with that. Alright, so here's our 360. And this aircraft registration is November 702 November Kilo. And it's one of, if not the first, uh, A321neo uh, for Spirit. Of course, this aircraft, as with, I guess, all of their uh, Neo aircraft, uh, is powered by the uh, Pratt & Whitney geared turbofan. I, I think it's 1100. I, I think that's the... But I know it's geared turbofan, and uh, and boy, is that is that engine having a lot of problems. Um, when it runs, it is awesome, but it's having a lot of durability problems, and it's definitely hurting everyone that has that kind of engine on their on their Airbus Neos. Alright, uh, let's see. So this one was delivered. Yeah, I think this might be the newest one, but I, I'm not absolutely positive. Uh, this one was delivered to Spirit in May of this year, 2023. Um, the, the seating arrangement is uh, eight business class, if you will. They call it the big front seat, so they have eight of those uh, so big front seat uh, I've actually seen some of these and you only get a minuscule amount of extra leg room but the seat is definitely wider so for for those of us who should who are wider than we probably should be uh, that would makes it way more comfortable uh, so this so it's basically it's almost half a year old and we already mentioned uh powered by the pratt whitney uh gear turbofan and yes it is currently active so here we have the raccoon uh raccoon eye um cockpit windows the l1 door The spirit billboard titles that is kind of centered over the wing. And you have our spirit.com uh, on, the, on the engine there. We got a couple of, of emergency exit doors hiding in there, hiding inside the eye and inside the R there. We got the L3 door. I'm sorry, the L2 door. It's the L2 door. The L3 door is there and where you can find the registration number and the American flag. And then following up there is the tail with spirit uh, printed from bottom to top. And the other thing is, I don't know if it's going to focus in on it, but 
this is this is the far side the starboard side winglet on the inside of it and it does say you uh, I'm not going to try to get it to focus but uh, it does say howdy there so they kept howdy on the inside of the winglets so if you're sitting in the plane and you're looking out you see their little uh, colloquial greeting there so that's it for part three of unboxing number 18 Fortunately, this one did not run long, and I'll be able to get it all in one thing and probably be able to uh, load this one up. It may even be before part two, like I said. But uh, so until I get some more airplanes um, to unbox, uh, we will uh, see you then. And in the meantime, happy collecting.